With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello. So, question says that the 5 gram of Na2SO4 was dissolved in X gram of H2O, right? Here H2O is acting as a solvent, right? So, the change in freezing point, right? So, the change in freezing point was found to be 3.82 degrees Celsius, right? So, if the Na2SO4 is 81.5% ionized, right? So, the what is the value of X, right? So, here it is a data. So, we have to use the value of Kf that is 1.86 degrees Celsius, right? And it is kilogram per mole. And the molar mass of sulfur it is given as 32 gram per mole, and the molar mass of sodium it is given as 23 kilogram per mole, right? So we have to use the, this data in the calculation, right? So now we have to find out the value of x, right? So now we have to find out the value of x, right? So we have to find out the value of x, right? So actually x here it is weight of the solvent, right? So actually x here it is the weight of the solvent, right? So weight of the solvent so we have to find out the weight of the solvent right so let's try to solve this question so here it is given that the 5 gram of na2so4 was dissolved right so i can say this the given mass of the solute right so the given given mass right or you can say that given mass of solute that is 5 gram right that is 5 gram or you can say given weight, right? So here the solute is Na2SO4, right? So here solute is Na2SO4, right? So when it is dissociating, it will be dissociated look like this. Na2 Na positive, right? So it will be 2 Na positive plus SO4 2 negative, right? So here you can see this. Here you can see this. There are total number of three ions, right? 2 Na positive and 1 SO4 negative, right? So I can say this. The value of N comes out to be 3, right? So value of n comes out to be 3 which, which indicates that the total number of ions is after dissociating it is 3 ions right. So here it is in the question it is given that the Na2SO4 is 81% ionized right. So it is 81.5% ionized right. So 81.5% ionized right. So it is given in the question right. So that means it has given the value of alpha right. So here it, the value of alpha the value of alpha is 81 percent right so the value of alpha it is 81.5 percent right so this is the degree of dissociation right so the value of alpha is degree of dissociation right so but we have to find out the value of x that means we have to find out the weight of the solvent right so for this we have a formula right so for this we have a formula that is the formula is like this that is delta tf right so the, the formula is delta tf is equals to right the is equals to eta multiply by Ita multiply by Kf, right? Alta Ita multiply by Kf divided by all. You can say multiply by molality, right? The multiply by molality, right? So if I it solve further, so it becomes it becomes delta Tf delta Tf is equals to the delta Tf is equals to Ita multiply by Kf, right? So what is the value of molality, right? So, what is the formula for molality? Molality is the formula that means number of moles of solute dissolved in the per liter of the solvent, right? So, it is, I can say that it is a value of given mass, right? Given mass of the solute. So, I write it is W, right? So, it is the weight of the solute and divided by molar mass of the solute, right? So, it is molar mass of the solute multiply by 1000 divided by x right so x here is weight of solvent right so x here is weight of solvent right weight of solvent right weight of solvent right and here it is you can say right here as here it is you can write here as this is mass right so you can write here as weight also right so i can write here as it is w right so this is our w right so now try to solve it so we have given change in freezing point that is 3.82 right so we have given the value of change in freezing, freezing point that is 3.82 right so now we have to find out the value of eta right so now we have to find out the value of eta and kf in the it is given in the question that is a 1.86 right and what is the value of w the value of w it is given in the question that 5 gram right so it is 5 gram 
divided by what is the molecular mass of Na2SO4? The molecular mass of Na2SO4, the molecular mass of Na2SO4 after calculating it, it is found that 142 gram per mole, right? So it is 142 gram per mole, right? So 142 gram per mole, right? So this is a molecular mass. So I can write here as directly. So it is 142 gram per mole divided by oh no multiply by no divide by 1000 divided by x right so x is our weight of the solvent right so x is our weight of the solvent right so now we have to find out the value of eta right so for this we use the formula for that that is degree for degree of dissociation so we know the formula is the formula is look like this eta is equals to right the eta is equals to 1 plus n minus 1 alpha right so I can write here as 1 plus what is the value of n, right? So a value of n comes out to be 3, right? So this is the value of n, right? So this is the total ion. So I can write as directly 3 minus 1, right? And it is alpha, that is degree of dissociation, right? So that is degree of dissociation, right? So I can write here also as it is 0.185, right? So 0.815, not 185, right? So it is 0.815, right? So I can multiply it by 0.815. 1, 5, right? So, if I solve it further, I will get 1 plus 2 multiplied by 0 0.815, right? So, it becomes, it becomes 1 plus, right? So, it becomes 1.63, right? And 630, right? So, the value of eta comes out to be, the value of eta comes out to be 2.63, right? So, after 2 decimal, you can say this is the value of eta, right? This is the value of eta, right? So now put this value, put this value of eta into this equation, right? Into this equation, right? So into this equation, right? Right? So now we get after putting this, we get. Let's try to solve it. So we get 3.82, 3.82. That is 2.63. We are putting for it is for two decimal because we are here using two decimal, right? So it is 2.63 multiply by multiply by 1.86, right? Because we are using two decimals, so I'm using this these two decimal, right? So it is 5 divided by 142 multiply by 1000 divided by x, right? Divided by x, right? So here it is x, right? I write it clearly, right? So this is x, right? So now we have to find out the value of this x and this x is actually weight of solvent right so this x, x is actually weight of solvent so it is actually so now you can say this this is equals to 2.63 multiply by 1.686 right so 2 1.86 and multiply by 5 multiply by 1000 this is divided by 3.8 82 right so this is 3.82 multiplied by 142 right so after solving we get we get x is equals to so it is equals to 24459 right so divide by if i multiply it i will get i will get 542.44 right so if i solve it i will get the value of x comes out to be 45.09 right 45.09 gram right so it is approximately equals to right so it is approximately equals to i can write it clearly so the value of x comes out to be 45 gram right so the value of x comes out to be 45 gram right so this is the value of x right so actually this is the weight of the solvent right so we have considered x as a weight of the solvent right so this comes out to be the weight of solvent right so let's check the option. Options are 25 gram, right? So this is not the right answer because we are getting 45 gram, right? So 65 gram, no, this is not right answer. Option C, that is 15 gram, no, this is also not right answer. The correct answer is D, right? So that is 45 gram, right? That is 45 gram, right? But in actual, we are getting 45.09, right? So we are neglecting just 0 0.9, right? So in integer, so we are getting this 45 gram, right? So this is the amount or you can say this is the weight of the solvent and here the value of x comes out to be 45 gram right so this is the answer right so hope this answered your question so thank you
for class 6 to 12, ITJ and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.